difference was today? Uh, I feel like they got to the free throw line a little bit more than us. Um, and I also feel like they got to the paint more than us. Uh, they had 36, well, they had 36 paint points, but I feel like they was the aggressor the whole night. And, you know, yeah, they just they just played an overall well game. They had three guys and who scored 20 points, who, you know, that's not really like, likely to happen, you know, with West V, but credit to them guys for playing their last game at home, you know, pretty well. Uh, but like Coach said, we're going to watch this one and we're going to focus on the conference and the NCAA. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Marcus, can you just talk about it? it looked like you and Kadrian uh, were kind of going back and forth, battling each other, uh, two kind of similar styles of, of play. Can you just kind of talk about what it's been, you know, the two games, uh, you know, you got the better end of it at your place. And um, I feel like uh, I, I know Kadrian. It was nothing like personal or anything. Right. It's, uh, I mean, that's just basketball. You know, you talk, you know, you tell them what you see. And, you know, we just we just had that connection. Uh, it was nothing personal. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, they got the win, and that's the only thing that matters. So. Did, you, did you agree that you guys kind of both have a similar No, style? not at all. Okay. Not at all. Not at all. How, how not different all. are you then? I'm, I'm way different. I could do multiple things. I could do, you know, a lot of different things. But um, it's not about comparing me and him. Um, that's not it's not what I'm trying to – the direction I'm trying to go in. Um, we just focus on the next game and the next thing that we're going to do. So. Deontay, what was uh, the biggest challenge playing without Desi today? Um, just had the same energy Desi would bring if he was here. Just we went in and said, what was you saying? Uh, Desi mode. Desi yeah, Desi. so we were just trying to go in and just bring the energy, um, just feed off each other and just play together and play for Desi. So. Does it hurt you more on offense or defense without Desi? Um, just, I mean, in general, just not having him, him here is, you know, big for us. Uh, we miss him, but, you know, he has – no stuff going on. Um, we tried to play our heart outs for him. Um, I know he was watching us, you know, uh, wishing he could be out here. Um, but yeah, it's just, we, we'll get him back soon, so. Marquise, you had a lot of assists in that first half, seven, I think. Just what, what were you seeing out on the floor dropping some of those dimes? Um, whenever I got to the paint and jump stop, uh, I was able to find my teammates. Um, and, you know, they were just available, whether that was cutting um, from the corner, or just spotting up for for the three. So, yeah, I finished with eight, though. So I think I could have done better in the second half with getting my teammates involved. Keontae, was it kind of an emphasis for you to try to get off more shots than usual? Because I think it um, I mean, not really. I mean, it was just a floor of the game. Um, I was feeling good in the beginning of the game, just trying to take the open shots and just keep shooting, doing everything I can to help the team out. West Virginia got like this game to the style of their liking more than you guys did. Okay. You think West Virginia got this game more to the style of their liking than you guys? Um, yeah, I feel like um, second half we start playing their pace, and that's when they made a big run. Um, the crowd they had an unbelievable crowd tonight, and fed off of them. And I feel like I mean the seniors, all the seniors for West V did had a good outing for their last home game. So I mean, get credit to them. Marquis, what changed just from the first half to the second half for you offensively? Uh, just more aggressive. Um, second half, uh, they weren't trapping me as much in the second half. You know, I was able to get downhill. I was able to, you know, get into the paint. Um, so that's what I was just seeing out there. Um, and my three balls started falling, you know, in the second half. So that changed, you know, a lot. Keontae, how do you two try to feed off each other, just being one of the best scoring duos in this league? Um, I mean, we don't hate on each other. I mean, with one person going off, we just we give each other energy, um, confidence. Just tell each other to keep going. He had zero points in the first half. I told him, I told him to try to go for a triple double. I mean, he was almost there, and I knew he was gonna score. And he had a bit out in the second half, so I feel like I mean we complement each other well. Keontae, could you talk? I mean, obviously the Big 12 has kind of been a physical league as a whole. This game in particular seemed like you know just even getting going for a single rebound took a lot of effort. Can you just talk about was this game like? More physical, maybe than 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 others. Um, I mean, I feel like every team we play has the same kind of physicality. Um, I mean, West V they obviously play more physical today. It was the last home game for the seniors, so I don't. I mean, I feel like we did well the first half. Just second half, we let them out, punk us, and that was about it. Marquise, what kind of excites you most about playing postseason basketball in Kansas City next week? Man, it's a fun you know environment. It's a fun time you know just being in KC. Um, playing for a championship, you know, the regular season is done now. 
Um, so now we can watch this out and play for, you know, a trophy. And I feel like that's going to be the, the most fun part about, you know, being in KC, that we could actually pay, play for something. Kante, I know you, you never want to lose, but does with what's ahead of you kind of make this one easier to put behind you? Um, I mean, yeah, I feel like everybody on the team just – we we just blessed to be able to play in March. Um, so we said it's a new season, so now this season, regular season nine, and we now we in ready for March to start in conference play. We just going in Kansas City, going to practice next practice and lock in on film, and just knowing every game means something from now on. Is there a way to describe the tournament? I mean, it, the regular season's brutal, but what's the tournament gonna be like? Is it? Uh, I feel like it's gonna be more physical. I mean, a lot of teams trying to get this championship. And everybody gonna play their heart out, and it's gonna be, I mean, the best players are gonna have to show up for the game. So, for either one of you guys, I mean, you guys, first conference game of the year was against West Virginia. Last conference game of the year was against West Virginia. Did you guys see any changes playing against them? You know, from the first game to the last game. Um, like I said, uh, they played their heart out for their senior night. I mean, you know, guys were physical, fouling, bumping. You know, um, and we was at. West Virginia, you know, it's one of the toughest environments, you know, there is. And, um, yeah, they just played well. Uh, they, was, they, were, they were the aggressor today. So. Did you think they missed a goal 10 on that layup? I don't know. I mean, it, it don't really matter at this point. Anything else for these guys? Okay, thank you. Appreciate it, sir.